Hi everyone, this is Top 3D Shop, and in this video we will tell you about the CreateBot Peak 300 FDM 3D Printer. The CreateBot Peak 300 is an industrial 3D printing machine designed for processing materials with a high melting point. The device is equipped with highly efficient thermal control, direct annealing, and cooling systems. The CreateBot Peak 300 allows you to print both conventional and high-temperature plastics with a high degree of deformation at 0.04 mm layer height. First to catch the eye on the front panel are the two knobs controlling the hot air blowing system, with each regulator responsible for a dedicated nozzle. When the knob is engaged, the compressor turns on and pumps hot air directly onto the model. This is an indispensable feature when printing with high temperature materials that require additional sintering, such as PEAK, PEC, ULTEM. The touchscreen is similar to other control panels used in the CreateBot line of 3D printers and offers a fast response and intuitive interface. An emergency power cut button can be found at the bottom of the front panel, like on a professional CNC machine. The on button is located to the side and can be engaged after unlocking. We'll use the 4MAX preheat setting since we will be running this carbon fiber ABS-based engineering plastic. The nozzle on the CreateBot Peak 300 is capable of heating up to 500 degrees Celsius, with the bed reaching 200 degrees and the working chamber heating up to 120 degrees. This is enough to process literally any FDM-compatible filament for consistent and accurate prints. The first version of the CreateBot Peak 300 was released in 2019 and has gone through several upgrades since then. For example, the filament loading compartment is now equipped with filament runout sensors, effectively pausing the print if the filament ends. There is also a heated drying chamber for hygroscopic plastics such as nylon or Ultron. The drying temperature can be set by pressing one of the buttons on the side panel. The latest version of the CreateBot Peak 300 has an interesting nozzle switching system. The inactive nozzle is lifted up by a servo motor, a reliable screw drive solution that should last long without special maintenance. The printer electronic components are located at the rear of the unit. All of them are thermally insulated, excluding potential overheating issues. From top to bottom, the electronics layout consists of the power supply and controller with a water pump installed in the far part behind the wall. The CreateBot Peak 300 utilizes water-cooled extruders. The pump turns on automatically when the required temperature is reached. The lower space houses the compressor responsible for blowing hot air within the patented Direct Annealing System, or DAS. The X and Y axis belts are 10 mm wide. The stepper motors are also air-cooled to prevent overheating. The printer contains capacitors that allow the machine to resume printing after a power failure. This is what the working chamber heating system looks like. The pump is filled with plain water. There's no need to use antifreeze or other coolants. In addition to the standard set of disposable tools and a flash drive, the Peak 300 package also includes spare drivers, spare screws of different diameters, and a pair of BL Touch sensors, which are used for automatic platform calibration. We used a model from the Thingiverse website for our first test print. There's a small hole at the bottom. Let's check how it will turn out without supports. We set 20% infill. Since we're running 4 max filament, we'll set the nozzle temperature to 275 degrees and the bed temperature to 110 degrees. In this case, we won't be using any support structures, but we'll leave the brim in order to avoid adhesion issues since the area of contact between the model and the build platform is quite small. In the speed settings, we set the travel speed to 100 mm per second and slightly reduce the overall print speed. The model for printing was prepared in the CreateWare 6.5.0 slicer. The only difference between this version and 6.4.7 is the added profile for CreateBot Peak 300. After clicking the Slice button and saving the prepared file, we send it to the machine. This is a medium-sized model with a total print time of 10 hours. After inserting the USB flash drive with the saved G-code file into the slot, we started the print using the left extruder with the factory-installed 0.4mm steel nozzle for this project. If 4 tenths of a millimeter is divided by half, we'll get the optimal layer height parameter of 0.2 millimeters, which will guarantee the best quality to print speed ratio. The process is complete. Let's assess the result. The brim is removed easily and effortlessly. Let's look at the bottom of the finished model. The hole in the base, which was a point of concern during the preparation, has been printed out perfectly. The result is excellent, with straight, even layers. The model turned out to be durable and visually flawless. A decent result, nothing to complain about here. This is Top 3D Shop with the CreateBot Peak 300 FDM 3D Printer Overview. Subscribe to our channel, leave your comments below, and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. See you soon!